Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm here to do the weekly positions for January 30th until February 6th. Take what resonates, leave what is not. Pisces, you in the top two. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. We about to begin. Okay. Let's see what y'all beginning room for this week. Y'all room for this week, Pisces. We got gamble. Okay. So y'all are gambling this week. Okay. And y'all, um, gypsy message for this week is extra joker, okay? Be careful of a joke or be careful of a clown that's trying to come towards you, okay? When it comes to a gamble or a clown gambled with something in your life. So we about to begin, okay? Okay, Holy Spirit, what do the Pisces need to know for this week? What do the Pisces need to know for this week? What do the Pisces need to know for this week? What do the Pisces need to know for this week? What do the Pisces need to know for this week? What do the Pisces need to know for this week? What do the Pisces need to know for this week? Okay. Overall energy for Pisces for this week is the nine of ones, okay, a Sagittarius, okay. Y'all are standing tall this week. Y'all are standing y'all ground this week. Y'all feel comfortable. Y'all feel confident about something. We got the title card, okay. Um, you have a title to something, okay, Pisces. That you're going to find out about this week. Let's begin. What do the Pisces need to know for this week? Three. Two more. One more. Okay, that's too many. We come back out again. So two is hidden, one is down the open. So what's down the open for you, Pisces, is your opposite energy, the Queen of Pentacles, a Virgo. Okay, you are carrying your opposite energy right now. You are just waiting, okay, for something to come through. Okay, what is hidden from you, Pisces, is the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Prince of Wands, any fire signs, okay? Um, a mother and a son do not have clarity on a situation yet, okay, when it comes to something. Okay, overall energy for you, Pisces, is the King of Wands in Aries, okay? Um... Yeah, they are mother and a son and waiting for answers when it comes to an Aries or a king of wands. They want to know something that this person isn't telling yet. What's the ace of swords in reverse for Pisces? Fair on the ace of swords in reverse is out in the open. We have the fool, a Aries, okay? Yeah, someone just do not have a perspective on something that is happening, Okay. A new beginning done started, and they don't have a perspective on it, or they're just trying to get away from the fruit. They don't want to tell right now. They playing. Somebody's playing with the fruit right now. We got the four of cups, okay? Um, they are feeling vulnerable, or they like to play games, okay, when it comes to something. What's the Prince of Wands for the Pisces for this week? Feeling between the fool and the Prince of Wands is down the open. We have the Empress, a Taurus, or a Libra, okay? Basically, a younger person mother took a gamble in something, took a gamble with something, okay? That she didn't have no perspective in at the moment, or she didn't know the all, she didn't know all the truth about something yet. We got the two of cups, okay? So we're going a connection or a commitment, a partnership, a lover. What's the queen of pentacles for the Pisces? They are the Ace of Swords and reverses down the open. We got the Three of Wands, a Leo, a Queen of P Pentacles, a Virgo, or you. You are just meditating and you are waiting for answers, basically, about something. We got the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you are waiting. You are praying for your answers to be heard. Or you ain't just waiting for the answer. What's the outcome to this reading for Pisces? Ace of Swords and reverse and the Fool. Okay, by the Ace of Swords and Reverse, down the open, got the Five of Pentacles, okay? A Capricorn, yes. Yeah, somebody do not want to reveal the truth, or somebody do not have all the truth to something yet. Or there's a lack of something right now. The lack of truth, okay, when it comes to a gamble. 
We got the five of ones, okay? Someone had to fight their way out of something, or they trying to. We'll see our computers reading for Pisces. Prince of Wands and the Empress. It is not only opened by the ancestors. We got the Emperor, okay? We got two kind of parts here, okay? A mother and a father and a son, okay? Um, so, yeah, okay? Somebody did not have all the truth about a mother, a father, and a son when they got involved in something, Okay? Or this emperor is coming through for somebody. This is your ancestor coming through. So this reading, you know what this reading means. We got the strength, okay? Um, it will be revealed soon this week. We'll see how come through this reading for Pisces. Queen of Pentacles and the Three, three of Wands. They on the Fool and the Prince of Wands that is hitting. We have the Eight of Cups or Scorpio, okay? Just sadness, okay? So once you get your answer about something, you're going to feel sad about it. Okay, override energy, the ace of pentacles, okay, is coming through towards you or you won't feel sad that someone took in something for money or some, you won't feel sad that somebody invested in this, okay, basically. So someone's going to gamble, okay. What do the Pisces ancestors have to say for this reading? I'm hearing dead meat, okay, so check your refrigerators. What do the Pisces need to know from their ancestors about something in this reading? We have the Three of Cups, okay? This week, your ancestors will be re reuniting you with somebody, okay? What do the Pisces ancestors want them to know? Okay, we have the Wool by the Ace of Swords and Reaver. Yeah, something is over now about what was hidden. This week, Pisces, you will be finding out the truth, okay? So, keep praying. We got the Eight of Cups on why a disappearance happened or why you had to abandon something, why someone else had to abandon something. We also had, we also have Miss Robinson, okay? What are the Pisces, what do the demons want the Pisces to know about this reading this week? What do the demons want the Pisces to know about this week? Okay, the Pisces demons. We have the Hermit teach philosophy, astrology, rhetoric, logic, palm reading, and divination and fire. Okay, you will be giving, you will be getting, you will be giving an answer through one of those techniques. Okay, so just pay attention. Okay, and we also have Ace of Swords and flames. Men and women with love, and women with men's love. Call them to show themselves naked in desire, okay? So something is true about someone trying to turn a man into a woman or woman into a man or something like that. I'm seeing that movie, Centipede. So watch that movie. I pulled some extra messages for you all. So Pisces, your guidance for this week is fulfillment, cycles, and cleansing, okay? So, yes, a cycle is fulfilled now, so you can know the truth about something this week. Your spiritual message is street memories, holding on way too tight, healing from heartache, and magical space clearing time, okay? Um, you are holding on to the memories about something this week, and but you will be healing um, something... I'm hearing that song by Leona Lewis. Um, time will heal, okay? I don't know. Your conscious message for this week is reach for your dreams and reverse, spirit awakens, and sun goddess, okay? Now you about to, you just, this week you just gonna find out the truth about something. Your love message is the wonder and reverse, love call, and camera. Do not run away from a phone call you're about to get this week. Something is on camera. So something will be sent to you that you is not going to like this week. Okay, the ending rune for you Pisces when it comes to gamble is wealth, okay? Somebody was gambling with a wealth or your wealth, okay? That's a hint. Okay, and your last message is Esther Joku. We have the fox, okay? 
So watch out for someone who's trying to betray you this week, okay? Hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I'm out. Peace.